Hey guys, what is up? It is Dominic, and in this video, we're going to be discussing prospecting. How to prospect, how I prospected back in the day, versus kind of how I prospect now, how to pitch to those prospects, and how to dramatically increase your chances of getting a client. But if you're new to the channel and you don't know what we're talking about, we are of course talking about Go High Level, the greatest software platform on the planet that allows you to white label it and sell it for whatever monthly recurring price that you wish. It's absolutely transforming the SMMA world and even the software world, but most importantly, it's changing the way that businesses look at marketing. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Dominic Baptist. I am currently the number one affiliate in the world for this company. I have taught thousands and thousands of entrepreneurs how to run this system, how to get clients, how to make money online, how to start their own businesses, every different angle you could ever think of. And I have made hundreds and hundreds of videos on this topic. So please check those out. Make sure to like and subscribe and even check out the link in the description below where I have an entirely free course on all of this stuff, like 100% free. And if you want to be an affiliate of mine, you're going to get way more and more. Most importantly, you're going to get in touch with me because I'm going to answer all of your questions personally because that's how I got to the number one spot and I plan to stay here. But enough about me. Let's get into the video. Let's talk about prospecting. How do you do it? Because I get so many questions every single day. It's definitely the most commonly asked question I get. How do you prospect? How do you get clients? What am I doing wrong? I'm cold calling 100 people a day and everyone's hanging up on me. And I just sit back and I'm like, oh my goodness, what are you doing? What's your pitch? What are you saying? And every single time it's the same thing over and over again. I'm telling them how awesome my software is. I'm telling them what I can do for them. I'm telling them I can make websites in seconds, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? So can so many other people. 15, 20,000 other people are selling the same thing that you're selling. How do you stand out? How do you differentiate from the competition? That's how I prospect. That's what I'm going to teach you right now. You're doing it wrong. If you're not getting sales, if you're not getting clients with Go High Level, you're doing it so wrong. And so before I really get into the concrete stuff and show you exactly how I prospect, let's start with the basics of what you're doing wrong. Number one, you're trying to sell Go High Level. That's your first mistake. If I get one more text that says, Dom, what's your pitch? I'm going to explode. There is no pitch. There is no concrete pitch to selling high level. Now, yes, some will say otherwise. Some will say, I have a great pitch for selling high level. I sell it every single day. That's fine. Maybe you do. But if you're watching this, you're learning from me. You're learning from my experience. And there is no pitch. I have never said the exact same words written on a piece of paper to a bunch of different prospects. I don't do that. Because if you treat every client like they're the same, they're going to treat you like you're the same as every other person cold calling them and pitching them with the greatest, newest software and marketing scheme, which is not what Go High Level represents and it's not what your SaaS company should represent. We are all here for one thing and that is to solve problems. We are solving problems for business owners. So when you get on a cold call or a cold message or this or that and you say, hey, I've got this awesome software that's going to get you 20 more leads every single month or I can build you a website in five seconds. I can do this. I can do that. They're already gone. That business owner is gone. They're long gone. They don't want to hear it. They probably didn't even read past the first sentence of that message. I know personally I wouldn't. I get messaged all the time. I get cold calls all the time. Hey, I can be your YouTube editor. I can make you the best YouTuber in the world. I can do this, do that, whatever. And I ignore almost every single one of them because it's clear as day. They just want to sell me something. And whenever you want to sell something to someone, they're going to put their guard up. So how do you get past that? How do you get around that? Because of course we are selling something, so we can't fully get around it. But how do you at least prepare for that? Well, the first thing I'm going to bring up is a very normal sales tactic that I actually learned from the movie, The Wolf of Wall Street. And it's the iconic line, sell me this pen. So if you haven't seen the movie, he basically says, sell me this pen. And every single salesman there tries to talk about how amazing the pen is. Oh, look at my pen. It can do this. It can write a hundred words per second. It's the newest, best pen out there on the market. And they all fail. And the only person that sells the pen correctly does it like this. He looks at the potential customer, the potential client, and he says, can you write your name down for me? The client then says, no, I can't. I don't have a pen. He hands over the pen and he says, supply and demand. And although that may sound simple and stupid and ridiculous, it's 100% true. And it's actually how I started selling. Supply and demand. Do not talk about how amazing your software is that so many other people also have. You need to solve their problems. If you're not solving their problems, you're not doing anything for them. And how do you know what their problems are if you haven't done your research on them? And that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to show you how to do your research properly so that instead of you trying to sell this amazing platform that can do automatic text and responses and help with their Google rank and yada, 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 whatever, you can finally start positioning this in a way that solves their problems, makes them look stupid for not picking up the phone, for not setting up another meeting, for not meeting you in person. From my experience, if you ever want a business owner to take action or do something, make them 
them feel less significant. Trust me, it works unbelievably well. A lot of business owners are put on a massive pedestal. No one tells them what to do. So when you get on the phone and you try to sell them something, they're already higher than you. They know that you need them more than they need you. And right then and there, you lost. So let's talk about how you can flip that pedestal. So check this out. I found this website and this company in about 20 seconds. And I'll show you exactly how I did it. I went right over here to Google. I typed in landscaping near me. I scrolled down a little bit and I found a company with one review called Landscaping Unlimited. Right down here, they have a one five-star review. They're not ranked very high. It looks like they're still open and running their business and they have a website. Great, let's check out the site. Okay, so right out the gate, this is not that great of a site at all. So let's start with the first few things that I see wrong with it. It's very laggy. I don't like the overlay here where you can see that it clearly disappears when you come up to this bottom section. I do like the little slideshow effect right here, but that's pretty much where I draw the line. And I can see they've got a little logo right here. It's not too bad, it's nothing great. Not really sure what this is. This is like a description. Like why is it up here at the top right? This looks terrible. You can't even click on the phone number. So I can't click on the phone number if I'm on mobile view and call them right away. That's really bad for call to actions. Let's click on the gallery here, see if they have more photos. All right, so clearly they've got a lot of photos. This is really, really good for you. If they have a ton of photos, these look like they're well-made. This is awesome because now you can take these photos and use them as a demo, which is what we're gonna do next after we do a little bit more research. And then we've got to get a quote today button, but check this out. It's only for email address, which means they're not sending text messages. So right out the gate in the first 30 seconds, I've seen multiple things wrong with their website that is holding back anyone from coming on here and booking a quote. They're probably not getting any quotes from this website at all, but who knows? Maybe they're running ads. Maybe they're really, really good at running ads and they're getting tons of website visits from their ads. Well, let's check, shall we? So the first thing that I did is I went on Facebook and I found them right here. They've got 113 likes, 119 followers, not that many at all. Looks like their first post right here is from 2012. So they're clearly not doing social media. They've got extremely outdated photos down here. But once again, that's not why we're here. We are here to see if they're running any ads. So check this out. We're gonna click the about page right here. And we're gonna click on page transparency. We can see that the page was created January 3rd, 2012. And then right down here, we can see this page is not currently running any ads. Now let's say they were running ads. Then we're gonna go over to Facebook ad library and we would type in whatever the company's name is and we would see on Facebook ad library what kind of ads they're running. So for instance, I'm just gonna type in landscaping, but of course you would type in Springfield, Illinois landscaping, whatever it is, you would type in landscaping unlimited, you'd find their exact page and you could literally see what type of ads they're running. But I love doing this to see what other people are running because you can see if they're running ads for a long time, then they're clearly working so you can see exactly what's working, what photos are working really well for them, what creatives are working well for competitors, and you can use that as leverage when prospecting. I would use this in my pitch and be like, RJ's Landscaping LLC seems to be doing really well with this one photo and a very simple ad. If you're actually proud of your work and you're not putting it out there to the public, how are you going to get leads? How are you gonna get sales? So if you haven't caught on to what I'm doing yet, we're finding all the things wrong with this business that Go High Level can perfectly fix. And we're changing that little pedestal we were talking about earlier, where they're way above us and we're way down here, we're kind of evening the playing field now because I'm seeing all of the things wrong with their business and I'm going to let them know, trust me. So right off the bat, what are we seeing wrong? Their website is not good. It's not functioning well. They could use a chat widget on there. They need to have a really good call to action. They need to have auto text. They could use better photos and it basically just needs a complete rehaul. It's just not good. But how do we get people onto the website? Well, usually by running ads or using social media. They're not really doing either. They need to be posting regularly using the social planner in Go High Level. And if they want to run ads, which everyone should, every business should run ads, then they need to be doing it like RJ's Landscaping LLC because clearly they wouldn't be running these ads if they weren't working. So now we're finding our problems with this business. So now how do we pitch to them? How do we make this pitch worth their time? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to my Go High Level account. And I'm gonna immediately hop into the websites tab and I'm gonna look up new websites or new funnels. So let's start with new websites. We're gonna go to the template library and we're just gonna type in land and see if anything comes up. They have an agency landing page template. That's not gonna work. So let's check out the funnels. So we're gonna click new funnels and template library and let's type in land. And boom, we have three right out the gate. We've got landscape scheduler, landscape solution appointments, and landscape book a quote. I'll be honest, this book a quote looks really enticing. Let's check it out. Not bad, not bad, obviously needs some work, but this is already 
way better than what they have. Of course, we can put in anything we want, all these different photos that they already have on their site, we can upload right there. So this one's not too bad, but let's check out the other ones. All right, this one was landscape scheduler. Obviously that photo is not good. I would change that immediately. Um, not too bad though. I kind of like the layout of this one a little bit better. Not really sure what that is. I'm sure it'll expand and get better, but I think we could add some photos here, make this look pretty decent. And here's the last one, pretty basic again. I mean, this one's not too bad. I like these little elements right here. Can easily put in the photos, make it look good. But at the end of the day, who cares? It's just a website. We only need to make sure that the website functions and it works. Get an appointment, book a quote. We need to make sure the button is really good and functioning. We need to make sure there's automatic text. We need to make sure that whenever someone lands on that site, they can get in touch with the business owner immediately. A chat widget in the bottom right, whatever we have to do. That's what the other website was missing. You just need to fix those problems. And so check this out. Let's say I use this one. Even though it may not be my favorite, I just wanna show you guys what I would do next. So let's continue. Let's grab this template real quick. And now we're in the editor where it looks so much better. Look at it all expanded. It looks great. I mean, this is gonna just work perfectly. I actually really, really like this one. And by the way, we don't have to edit this entire site or else we'd be prospecting for you know a full day just for one prospect and we don't wanna do that. But adding one or two photos and just making sure it looks good and saying, hey, this is a demo is massive for a prospect and is massive for prospecting in general. So you can change this photo in the background, maybe put one of their photos on there that you can easily get from their Facebook page or from their website. You can can either toss their logo up here or help them with a new logo that you could make in seconds on Canva. I mean, come on, look at this. I can just type in landscaping. We have a ton of logos to choose from right away. These are amazing. They're all very well designed, clearly professional, way better than anything that these local businesses are going to have. And you can easily change the name, make sure the logo looks good and toss it up there. These guys are gonna be blown away. You just made a logo for them and a demo site for them. Who does that? I mean, that's crazy. You put in the work before you did the cold call, before you walked into their business, whatever you were doing, you put in the work and you made it look amazing. And that's what a business owner cares about. That's what they wanna see. Now I will point out this works way better when and the lead is a little bit warm, but I've done this on cold leads. I've seen other people do this on ice cold leads and it works great, but I'm just letting you know that if you get someone to respond or maybe you did send out a bunch of messages and you got a couple responses, this would definitely be an amazing second move because obviously you don't wanna take 20, 30 minutes of your time doing all of this and then have someone not respond, that would be awful. However, this will make you stand out from the competition. I'm sorry, but if someone cold called me or cold messaged me and said the same crap that I hear every single day, I'm gonna treat it as such. But if someone sent me a very personalized message and showed me something that they could do, already put in work for free, I can't even imagine what they're gonna do when I pay them. And so of all of those people that have cold outreached me for my YouTube channel, saying they could edit or do this or do that, only one person have I ever responded to, ever. And it was someone who took my videos, edited them, put in the work and sent me back something. And they are the only people I have ever responded to because I saw their work, I saw what they were going to do for me before they did it. And that is how you sell. Under promise and over deliver. A lot of you guys do the opposite where you say you can do this or that or give them a thousand leads. And then shocker, you can't. But if you solve the problems that they clearly have, then you're gonna be one step closer to getting that sale. And then you're gonna start networking and then their friends are gonna tell their friends. And then those people are gonna start telling their friends and their friends are gonna tell their friends and all business owners know each other, especially in local areas. And you'll find out very soon what that word of mouth can do for you. And then if you really wanna blow their socks off, then you can build an automation in the back end, make sure the website actually functions and send them a message or cold call them or whatever you have to do to get in touch with them and say, hey, you gotta check this out. I just built a website for you. It's just a little demo page and check out what happens when you fill out the form. And then they're gonna get a text message from their end saying, hey, you have a new lead, yada, yada, yada. You know, I talk about this in my course, exactly what to say, how to do this. It's my client closing hack. It works unbelievably well. And they're gonna see exactly what they're getting right then and there before they buy anything. It's just ridiculously powerful and it works so well. I've seen a lot of people in the group post their wins and when people ask, how are you doing this? How are you doing this? It's because they're adding such a personal touch on their prospecting. I just saw someone post the other day. They said, hey, they were about to get hung up on a cold call, literally doing the same thing that everyone else does. And you wanna know how they fixed it? You wanna know what they said at the last second? They said, hey, I can actually meet you in person because I'm local. And the business owner was about to hang up and when they found out they were local and could actually meet them, they said, okay, cool. Yeah, let's meet in person. Trust is everything. They need to be able to trust you. What better way to build trust than to give them something for free or to show them what you're gonna do before you do it. And when you get really good at this, you can just hire someone to do this all day. Imagine hiring a VA to literally do what I did in this video all day long to 
20, 30, 40 prospects a day. You think you're not going to close deals? Of course, you're going to close deals left and right. And that's where you go from a one man band to a real SaaS company and a real company in general, because now you're actually delegating. You have people doing all the side projects for you. And that's when you're going to start seeing real scalability. But in the beginning, when you're doing anything you can to get a prospect, don't sit here and tell me this is too hard. This is going to take too long because then you really don't care about getting a prospect. You don't care about getting a sale. When I first started, I would do anything to get a client, whether it was build a free website from scratch, build free automations, go in, cold call, whatever I had to do. I did anything to get that client because I knew it would lead to more. I knew it would lead to experiences and experience led to skills. Skills led to confidence. Confidence led to more sales and more sales led to networking and the ability to scale. So in a nutshell, that's one really good method that you guys could use for prospecting, physically doing something for them, showing them the problems that they have and solving those problems. And one other thing I want to point out that after teaching like 10,000 people how to use Go High Level and seeing all of my successful affiliates and how they stand out from the people who aren't as successful, the people who are just starting or can't get clients, I would like to point this out. My most successful affiliates, by far, the ones that stand out from the rest, that make 10, 15, 20K a month in the first three months, which sounds ridiculous. And I literally tell people, don't put that on yourselves. It's incredibly difficult to do that in such a fast amount of time. And yet they have done it. They all have one thing in common, and that is creativity. They are unbelievably creative. They're going their own way. They're learning from their mistakes and they are doing things that I'm not even doing. But the other thing they have in common is they all started out the same as you, the same as me, building websites, learning automation, learning go high level. And then they slowly started to realize, hey, this is a different angle I can take. They got a client that led to another client that led to another opportunity. And they realized there's something else. There's a left hand turn they could take. They took that left hand turn while everyone else is going right or going straight. And they used that creative force to find a different way, a different angle to make money with high level. And that's how they got to that 15, 20, 30K a month mark because they're different. They're changing the game. And fun fact, that's exactly how I got my start. Everyone said to niche down. Everyone said, don't go local. Everyone said, run ads to get clients. I did none of those things. I kept it old fashioned and look what happened. I created a successful agency in my town. I became very well known. I got on social media. I was the first person to promote Go High Level on TikTok. That was the first. And I became the top affiliate in the world in under six months. Be creative, be a business owner, learn the system and amazing things will start happening for you. Trust me, I'm seeing it every single day. I hope this video will help a lot of you who are struggling to get at least one client. This should definitely improve your odds by a million and at least get the ball rolling so that you can get that first or second or third client and really start learning the system and learning what people need. And with all that being said, please check the link in the description below where you can get that free course. You can sign up with my affiliate link and get 30 days for free with Go High Level. Yes, you heard that correct. 30 free days instead of 14 if you sign up directly with them. You will also get in touch with me. Yes, me personally, or you can message me on Facebook or email or whatever you got to do. And I respond to all of my affiliates. You guys already know. My affiliates also get their own white labeled onboarding course. I teach you how to run Facebook ads. You get your own snapshots, all that fun stuff too, that all the other affiliates give out guys. But where I stand out from the other affiliates is me. I'm very personable. I'm very accessible. And I truly, truly, truly want my affiliates to succeed. Not only that, you can also book one-on-one Zoom calls with me and one-on-one onboardings where I will literally onboard your entire account for you if you're brand new. So those Zooms and onboarding links will also be in the description below. And with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot and peace out.